Hi guys, so today I will be teaching you how to paint this really cool fish called a discus using watercolor. We start by applying clean water to the body and head of the fish. Make sure that you don't apply water on the fins and the background because we want the paint to stay within the area of the fish's body. We then lightly add a sort of pinkish red color to the body of the fish. And we also add the same color to some parts of its head. I'm adding some blue and green pigment on its belly, above its pectoral fin, and other parts of its body. After it dries, I start painting on its scales. A discus is a really colorful fish, so we use some green, blue, orange, red, and yellow to paint on its scales. Compared to the other parts of its body, I used a much darker color for its belly. Now we add red watercolor underneath its eye and glaze yellow watercolor over it. Then with red watercolor, we start painting on its tail fin. I used violet watercolor on areas that are darker, like on the middle part of its body and on its gills. We now paint the fish's spectral fin with cobalt blue. I used a mixture of violet and burnt umber to paint on its shadows underneath its fin. With bright yellow, I paint on the eyes, but I leave out the area where the pupil would be. While we wait for the paint to dry, I start applying color on its pelvic fin. I add bright yellow and a bit of cadmium yellow on areas that are darker. With painting the anal and dorsal fin, use the same technique used when painting its body. Apply water first, then lightly brush on blue watercolor on it. Again, we add more pigments on darker areas. Then we wait for it to dry and continue adding details on its tail fin. After that, you can start painting on the pupil. Use a thinner brush so you could easily control the paint. We can now continue painting the anal fin. Use short and long strokes in painting the details on its fin. I use blue, yellow, green, and violet watercolor. I did the same thing with the dorsal fin. Now we can start doing the background. Brush on a generous amount of water on the background. Make sure that you don't apply water on the fish because we don't want the paint to bleed out. We then add green watercolor. See how the paint spreads on its own? This is because we applied water on the paper before adding paint on it. This technique is called wet in wet. I added some blue, green, maroon, gray, and yellows on the background. The technique I'm using right now is called splattering. This is done by tapping on a brush. You can see that the paint just splatters all over the paper. If the paint accidentally splatters on an area you don't want the paint to be, you can just lift it off using a tissue or a piece of cloth. Or you could just spread it with a brush like what I did. You can also cover tissue on your main subject so that you can avoid splattering paint on it. You can see that there are white areas in between the fish and the background. We don't want that because we don't want the fish to look like it's separated from its background. So what I did is I painted over the white areas. After that, we just add the final details on our fish. Darken the gills, fins, and add some shadows. I finish it off by writing my signature. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it helped you understand the basics in using watercolor. Thank you for watching. Bye!